Now, your 13 First Alert weather forecast. Well, our Tuesday started off on a dry note in western Wisconsin as we had cloud cover increasing from the southwest. Any showers and storms were mainly confined across the Great Plains region. However, as we progressed into the mid and late morning hours, that's where things started to change. We started to see some of those showers rolling up through parts of the Cooley region. We did have quite a bit of low level dry air in place. Uh, we didn't know how long it would take to overcome that dry air, and I'm sure you could tell it didn't take very long. The rain was reaching the ground rather quickly. Quickly in that batch of showers and even a few isolated storms that we've been tracking through the morning hours is now across our northern areas, namely Polk, Barron County, even into parts of Russ County. We're now getting into a bit of a break in the Chippewa Valley to point south, but don't expect this to last too long. In the coming hours, we're going to have a more widespread band of rain that could be heavy at times and even some embedded thunderstorms that are going to make their way into the area. As we do take a live look out here on Hastings Way from our Nicolay Bank Sky Cam, things are wet and notice that grass has really greened up. I'm even seeing some leaves popping out on the trees uh, thanks to all that warm weather over the weekend. And now the rain, we're at 48 degrees in Eau Claire, a breezy wind out of the east at 16 miles per hour. And our dew point has come up now into the mid 30s. Statewide where we've got those rain showers and quite a bit of cloud cover, that's where it's coolest. 48 again here in Eau Claire, 54 in Hayward. 57 in Rhinelander, but notice where it's dry or dry right now. That's where temperatures are the warmest, where we have 60s across southern parts of the state. Those winds on the breezy side statewide uh, from the east and southeast, uh, mostly between 15 and 25 miles per hour. But as we head through the afternoon hours, those are going to continue to strengthen at around 20 to 30. We could see gusts at times nearing 50 miles per hour. That's why that wind advisory is in effect for most of western Wisconsin through 10 o'clock tonight. And even as we head through tonight, those winds are going to lighten up just a little bit, but still on the stronger side from the east and southeast at around 15 to 25. And then we'll see those lighten up just a little bit more as we head into your Wednesday. Checking out satellite and radar on the broader scope, there's our storm system currently positioned over central Nebraska. It's slowly going to track uh, east and then northeast throughout the day, eventually making it into Iowa as we head into tonight. So while we're in a break right now, I expect that to change. I'd say between 3 and 5 o'clock, that's where we're going to see that band of rain uh, starting to work up from the southwest. Notice all the yellows, oranges, reds indicating heavier rates of rainfall. Even some embedded thunderstorms could actually have some stronger to maybe even severe storms, especially south of I-90 this afternoon. This will continue into this evening, and then that will move out, leaving us with just scattered showers and perhaps a few rumbles of thunder through the overnight hours. As we do head into tomorrow, low pressure is actually going to be lifting right over the state to the northeast. So that's going to bring us more chances of showers throughout the day. And then we do finally start to dry things out, at least through the first half of tomorrow night. But there could be another wave of showers that affect our southern areas going into Thursday morning uh, with a mix of sun and clouds. Uh, the greatest severe risk going to be south of I-90 this afternoon. But folks that live near and along the I-90 corridor, you want to stay weather aware have a way to receive those severe weather alerts because we could still see an isolated strong to severe storm. Uh, main threats going to be damaging winds and large hail, but an isolated tornado cannot be ruled out. Our high at 65 this afternoon, we're near 60 tomorrow. We'll dry out towards the end of the week with those highs into the 50s. Today's Sunshine Award goes to Michelle Roll from Jackie Reisner. Jackie writes, Michelle has been a part of our family for years. She is the person who helped us make our foundation and helped our son through life and school. We will be eternally grateful for her. She deserves the world. If you would like to nominate someone for the Sunshine Award, send us an email or head to our website at weau.com. Well, a rainy day, but one that we need. Absolutely. I mean, we're still in a drought. We have abnormally dry conditions, and this is going to help tremendously with that. All right. Thanks, Derek. Mm -hmm.